Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a full what I eat in a day to include all my snacks, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I will also be sharing with you at the end of the video um, my total macros for the whole day. And the focus of today's what I eat in a day is going to be protein. Since my number one question that I get when I tell people that we live a mostly plant-based vegan lifestyle is, where do you get your protein? So, I'm gonna show you today with three different meals. So, stay tuned. breakfast I was in the mood for something savory so I decided to make some tofu tacos so the first step I'm gonna do is just drain my tofu and then I'm gonna press it to remove a lot of the excess liquid and to do this all you do is wrap it in a cloth or paper towels and stack as much stuff on top of it as possible <laughs> just kidding just stack some weight on top of it and this will help remove some of the moisture so to go with my tofu scramble i am going to be adding in some onion some bell pepper and some shiitake mushrooms and all i'm going to do for this is i'm going to lightly saute all of these veggies and once they're starting to get a nice caramelization on the bottom then i'm going to go ahead and add in my tofu to season all of this up, I have this little blend that I'm gonna be making today. And to go in that, I have a little bit of turmeric. This is gonna give it a nice color, kind of like egg. And it's also going to add a lot of nutrients that are awesome for inflammation. I'm going to add some ground cumin, some ground chili powder, and some garlic powder. I typically would not do the, cu oh, and nutritional yeast. That's what's going in here. And salt, of course we're adding salt. I forgot to show that part. Anyway, I typically would not do the cumin or the chili powder, um, but since this is going to be a taco, I was trying to do like a Mexican style seasoning. So once my seasoning's made, I'm just gonna go ahead and saute up the tofu. I'm gonna add it to all the caramelized vegetables. And then once that is nice and um, crispy and cooked through, then I will add in my seasoning. You don't wanna add your seasoning until the tofu is nice and crispy because you don't want your seasoning to burn. So then all I'm gonna do is toast up some tortillas. I used corn tortillas today. And to heat them through, all I do is get the cast iron skillet hot, give them a few twirls, and that is it. And yeah, the rest pretty much explains itself. You put the taco with the salsa, and then I added some um, cilantro for garnish. And my total protein here was 17.4 grams of protein for breakfast. Alright, I don't always eat breakfast, but when I do, I like it savory. So those breakfast tacos were perfect. I typically, if I'm eating breakfast, it's either breakfast ta tacos with like a t some type of tofu scramble or some kind of potato or it is um, avocado toast. And when I feel like having like an indulgent breakfast, I'm having an egg. So that's typically what I have for breakfast. But anyway, that was really satisfying. Like I am so full. I only had the two tacos. Um, my total calories were like under 500 calories, but I am so full. Like it was a very satisfying breakfast. I would have actually liked to have more veggies in it but we'll make up for that at lunch also i do have a little bit of a sweet tooth now so we'll see where that leads me maybe i'll have a little snack here in a little bit All 
right, so let's jump into lunch. My go-to for making a lunch that the kids will enjoy pretty much always includes pasta and broccoli. So all I'm gonna do is get some pasta going and then when my pasta is almost cooked and I have about five minutes left, I'm gonna throw in the florets of a bro head of broccoli. And then I'm also going to add some chopped kale and I keep my kale in the freezer just to keep it, make it last longer. And to me, it's easier to pull the stems off when it's been in the freezer for a bit. So once I have finished cooking my vegetables and my pasta together, I will strain them all off. And this is the quickest and easiest recipe y'all. I save a little bit of that pasta cooking water and all I'm gonna do is add in about two or three heaping tablespoons of hummus your whatever your fam favorite hummus is i personally love either a garlic hummus or a pine nut hummus so this one was pine nut today and then i'm adding in some frozen peas and this is going to actually cool everything down a little bit so the pasta doesn't continue cooking and then i'm going to add in some nutritional yeast and a little bit of seasoned salt and then I'm just gonna stir this all together and if it's not quite as creamy as I would like it, I will add in a little bit more of the um, reserved cooking liquid that came out of the pasta and veggies and just kind of get it to whatever texture or consistency you like. And this honestly was so good. It really reminded me a little bit um, of kind of like an Alfredo. In fact, towards the end, I did end up adding a little bit of lemon juice and this really made it taste like Alfredo because Alfredo has Parmesan cheese, which has like some notes of like tanginess. So yeah, this was amazing. I loved it. The kids loved it. It's a crowd pleaser. Make it. Y'all, didn't I tell you I would make up for the lack of veggies at breakfast? Yeah, we had all the veggies at lunch, so that was really yummy. I think this is gonna be something, oh, that sun, there we go. I think this will be, end up being one of those recipes I've been trying really hard to put together a what my plant-based kids eat in a day video um, because people ask me all the time, what should I feed my kids? Like my kids won't eat anything when they're trying to transition. The kids loved that. I didn't put the hummus in theirs. I used like a little bit of coconut oil, but I still added the nutritional yeast and a little bit of seasoned salt, and they loved it. It was almost like noodles and butter with like all the veggies. So it had the kale, the peas, the broccoli, and they really liked it. You'd be surprised what vegetables your kids actually like when you dress it up in something that you know that they do like, like pasta. So anyway, that was really yummy, and I don't, I'm 100% sure there will be no more snacking between now and dinner because between the Lara bar, the tacos, and that super full lunch, I'm like, I'm very, very full. Like I might have to push dinner back to like seven or something because I'm very full. So catch you at dinner. The ingredients we're gonna need to start on dinner are garlic, celery, onion, carrots, potatoes, liquid smoke, marjoram, salt, and vegetable broth. We are making split pea soup. This is a crowd pleaser at our house. Everyone loves it, so let me show you how we make it. The first step I always do is make sure to thoroughly rinse off my beans. Anytime you're working with dried beans, make sure you rinse them really well. A lot of times you will notice a lot of stuff floating on the top that will all kind of rinse out. You have to think when beans are picked, they are kind of just sorted through roughly. So make sure you rinse your beans. The next thing we're gonna do is just saute the celery, onion, and garlic together. And if you notice, I did not chop the garlic. I literally just smashed it and left it whole. And I did this for this exact reason. I wanted to be able to saute it up with the onion and celery. And if I would have minced it, it would have probably cooked faster than everything else. So leave it whole save you some time and effort and it's going to cook down anyway 
the next step is we're going to, once the onions and celery have caramelized a little bit, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So that would be our potatoes, our carrots, our rinsed peas, as well as our seasoning. So our seasoning is marjoram, liquid smoke, liquid smoke and salt, and that is it for seasonings. This is such an easy and delicious recipe. I will have the full recipe with all the measurements and everything you'll need to recreate this exact recipe. They will all be in the description below. And I did actually trial run this a few times because you know, I'm bad for measuring stuff. So I measured it all for you guys and it is all set and ready for you guys to recreate. While I waited for the split pea soup to finish cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick tahini dressing to go over a mixed green salad. So this is my go-to tahini dressing because it's so easy and it's really yummy. I just take a tablespoon of tahini, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon juice, and these are all preferences, garlic powder, and all you do to make a tahini dressing is add a little bit of water at a time, stir, a little bit of water, stir until you get the consistency you want. It will thicken as it sits, especially if you put it in the fridge, but that is it. It's really simple and delicious. While I was making the dressing, I let the soup come to a boil and you're gonna want it to stay at a decent boil for about 40 minutes. Um, the beans will still have a tiny, tiny bit of a bite to them and they'll be about this texture right here, but you'll notice as it sits and it starts to cool, it gets a lot thicker again and it will, the residual heat from the pan will continue to cook it. So I'm gonna to top ours with a little bit of nutritional yeast and we're gonna have it served up with a little bit of salad on the side, literally just mixed greens with the tahini dressing and that is dinner. I wanted to go over my macros and my macros and micros with you really quickly. So my total calorie intake was 1,838 calories, which is like a maintaining um, calorie intake for me. So my macros looked like this, so 47% of my car calories came from carbohydrates, 34% uh, came from fats, and 18% came from protein. So what that actually looks like is 221 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, and 87 grams of protein. So, I mean, that's almost 90 grams of protein with essentially just all eating plants. You know, the animals that you're eating are eating plants to get their protein, so I don't know. Seems like it would work. Another thing that I wanted to touch on was the my micronutrients. So I, I'm not gonna go into all of them, but I will name off a few. So I was over on my potassium, over on my vitamin A, like by 141% over, over on my folic acid, over on my vitamin C, over on my calcium, over on my iron by like 80%. Um, you, it's just really easy to get all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients. I was over on all my B vitamins and I think that had a lot to do with um, adding the nutritional yeast. But honestly guys, you can eat plants and get enough protein. Thank you so much for watching all my good eats. We honestly love eating plant-based. I would say we eat plant-based, vegan. About 90% of the time, we are not strict vegans, so we do cheat here and there. But I will say that our main motivation to continuing this is our just overall health. We feel better, we don't feel lethargic after eating a meal. I just feel lighter and I have more energy. So I really just feel like this is the right um, lifestyle for us. But I will also add that I never did this or chose this lifestyle of eating for the animals. That's not why I chose it. But when you remove that from your diet, you see things differently. So I will say I am very motivated now on a different level that I two years ago probably would have never felt the same way. Um, so anyway, show your support by subscribing. What else? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it or give me a thumbs down because you showing some kind of action on my channel is still gonna help growth on my channel. And leave a comment below if there was some, one of the recipes that you know you're gonna make or if you do make it, I'm totally, I just get so inspired 
to continue making these videos when people are actually using these recipes and actually applying it to their life. So if you use the recipe or you try it, give me a comment, thumbs up, like, whatever. One more thing, all of the recipes are linked in the description below. Enjoy. Today I'm going to be doing with Hello. So I wanted to go over uh, my, my macros with you really 